Kids and Cadets, welcome back to Tommy Time. This is a 2014 TB230. I wanted to show you how to adjust your automatic choke. I had been working on this machine. Harvey, the homeowner, has been in here and he's been messing things up. I've been finding a lot of problems with this TB230. Had the unit apart, uh, cleaned it up washed it up, degreased it, cleaned the carburetor, put all this back together again. I just want to show you how this uh, air vane goes back and how it interacts with the automatic choke here which is fed off of the muffler. This muffler when it starts heats up and it slowly moves this arm forward opening the choke. When I first took the cover off of the um, engine. The previous owner had this part loop through the opening here and it, it doesn't go in here. He had it something like this. It does not go inside there. I'll show you how this goes. So what I've done is put a little bit of axle grease here on the top of the plastic and then down here a little bit of grease just so this thing moves there's a tab here make sure it goes in the notch here which is built into the um, linkage here for the choke this tab goes in there so put that in there this is a quarter inch screw quarter inch drive so get your quarter inch tighten this down it's plastic don't go berserk it should be able to move freely don't forget your spring. I'll give you a number for that. The spring is 790849. When I got this unit, it was missing the spring. I stole one off of another engine. The thermostat, if it has to be replaced or is not working and it doesn't have any spring action, like this one does, if it's dead in the water, the part number for the thermostat 593208. If you have to replace the carburetor, here are the carburetor numbers. If yours can't be salvaged, either of these numbers will work on Flea Bay or the Big Jungle Company. So back to the spring. Make sure you use the proper spring. Any old spring won't work. This has a certain amount of tension on it to um, work the air vein. So when I first opened this up, the um, thermostat was rubbing against the air vein right in this area so I went ahead and straightened out the uh, thermostat so there's two four notches in this air vane I tried to highlight them two here in the front And then two on the side. So this is just an aluminum piece here, so it's bendable. So you want to make sure the um, forward leading edge of the thermostat assembly is lined up in between the two notches here facing forward. 
which this one is it's lined up and then you come over to the side there's two notches here make sure it corresponds with the bend here on the um, thermostat it has to line up in two two locations so this piece here is is bendable you can move this in or out see how it, it moves easily so this piece here needs to line up with these two notches so you can actually bend this accordingly make sure this can fits in between these two notches and then in the front make sure it lines up with these two notches in the front as well so double duty from the side and in the front this heats up it will open the choke full open right now the spring is keeping the choke in the closed position which will limit the amount of air into the carburetor and put more fuel into the carburetor making it start quicker once the engine heats up the muffler here will heat up the thermostat here will open all the way and uh, let the correct amount of air into the engine just wanted to clarify that I did a previous video but I didn't really show you that this piece here is bendable to get everything lined up bend this accordingly to get your marks lined up front and side so there you go Mr. Snake and I appreciate you coming out looking at this TB230. Hope you guys have a good day. Hopefully this helped you out if you're messing around with a, an older Briggs & Stratton engine 2014. Thanks and continue to have a good day.